Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. State the objective and the measures of the land reform in India. State the objectives. Okay. First is objective and measures of land reform in India. This is the first one. Second subheading is, second sub question is discuss. When it comes to discuss means you have to give a elaborating. You have to speak about a lot of things related to the land reform. Here the question is discuss how land sealing policies on land holding can be considered as an effective reform under the economic criteria. So discuss how the land sealing policy can be considered as an effective reform under the economic criteria. So these are the things here. First thing is about state the objectives and measures. So you have to speak about the objective measures. Before that there should be the intro. One, two, three. Next is about the land sealing policy and then you have to speak about the how effective this is last is the conclusion part so there should be around six para for this question this was the question asked in 2023 okay so the land reform the land reform thing was did in the time period of the after the independence because at the time of the independence, there was a major land holding rest with the Zamindaris, Zagirdaris and Mahalbaris. So major land was held by them. Most of the farmers were the landless world. They don't have any land to do the farming activity. And also there is no industries to uh, divert them into do their work. So in that scenario, they created a thing called as, they passed the rule called as land reform. Based on which, there are the certain limitations they gave to the land, to the single person. So that thing was called as land sealing act. And also they created the tenancy act. So if you are a tenant on the land means, what are the rules that you have to follow? Okay, and also they gave certain limitations on the payment of that land, payment for that land. Because before the uh, independence, at the time of the British era, it will be the hefty amount charged on that tenant. Which means major part of the money that the former earned is how to be paid as a tenant, for, uh, paid for that lease amount. So that was changed by the Tenancy Act and also they did the lot of land reform schemes by the way they overcome the issues of the Indian farmers for that only they introduced the land reform but it was thing happened in the time of the independence at the, around the 1950s and 60s but still this question is relevant they asked in the 2022 and 2023 question which means the relevance of this thing is still there is. The reason is because of this, maybe it's a positive one or the negative one. There are certain things is happening. The small and marginal farmers, 86% of the Indian farmers are the small and marginal farmers. They are affected by this act either positively or in a negative way. Because some state did the land reform in a more of a good manner. By the way, the more the, the lot of farmer benefited from that. For example, about a Kerala. Most of the southern states did, did it. But when it comes to the northern state, it is not that much. So still there are issue of this land reform. So that is the only reason 
they asked this question in 2021 and 2022 okay so still there is a relevance for this land reform so you have to focus on this topic also okay so what are the possible intro you can give simply say what is land reform okay so which is dividing the land to the everyone it is to create a social justice to create a social justice or to create a economic justice they just dividing the land to they divide the land to the farmers in a equal manner so that is simple as that of the land reform you can say that next next thing is about the objective so what is the objective of this land reform so to end the exploitation of the farmer promote the equality and social justice redistribution of land to the landless invest in the for invest on the land promote agriculture development promote security of tenure encourages the demand through the redistribution of the income land conflict reduce to reduce the land conflict so all these things are the objectives of the land reform if you are going to do this uh, kind of uh, drawing means it is good to present your answer more than giving point wise answer if you are going to do that means it is uh, good to get uh, some extra mark okay so this is the objectives of the land reform so what are the measures they did it first thing is about changing the right to property earlier it was the fundamental right now they changed it to the constitutional right so that is the measure the government did so first is about right to property is shifted from the fundamental rights to the constitutional right that is the first thing next tenancy act okay next land sealing act so these are the things they did as a measures to overcome this issue of the zamindaris mahalwaris okay so for that only they created these acts so these are the measures next discuss how this land sealing being effective in the economic distribution economic criteria okay in this scenario you have to speak about what is land sealing so land sealing is aimed as putting a cap on the maximum amount of the land could be owned by the single person so this is simple as that of the land sealing but the question is about discuss how the land sealing policies on the land holding can be considered as effective reform under economic criteria which means how effective it is that you have to say in the scenario you can quote that it is going to give the equal distribution of the land to the people and also to overcome the issue of the people who are reside in the below poverty line so for that thing they are going to going to the government is going to do that but you have to speak about the another side of this land sealing act that is also important thing because the question is about the discuss so if it is a discuss means you have to speak every possible things happened related to this land sealing you don't you you shouldn't give the positive picture of this land sold land sealing act only you have to give the another side of this picture which is the land sealing act when it comes to the land sealing act it it will put a cap on a single person consider that in a family there are four to five members means for a single person it is 5 acre means for a family it will be 30 acre if it is a if it is a six member family means if it is a five member family means it is a 25 acre for a single family in that scenario this land sealing act is going to be void again the land is to be hold by the family again it is going to be rest with the zamindaris or else the mahalwaris so that is the issue so the first major concern about this land sealing act is 
it put the cap on the single person not on the family that is the major issue created by this land ceiling act that you have to say because it is discuss so you have to give some negative pictures of this land ceiling act and also when it comes to implementing this act the state government only some state implemented it more correctly in more of a equitable manner when it comes to some other states they are they didn't implemented it in a more proper manner that is the major concern when it comes to the land ceiling act so these are the some negative pictures of the land ceiling act that is also you have to speak that is the thing that is the major issue still the indian agriculture is facing due to that only still the indian agriculture is facing certain issues okay so by the way only it is still relevant in this society in this india after 78 years sir still there is a issue of this land reform means there is certain issue faced by the land ceiling act so you have to speak about the negative side of this thing also okay so afterwards you can conclude it india should focus on increasing the mechanization of the agriculture or else you have to overcome this issue means there is a need for a green revolution 2.0 so in the way you can conclude it because rs you can say that major population reside in the indian agriculture system so there is a huge reform in the another land reform 2.0 is needed that is also you can say so this is the way you have to conclude it